Today, I want to take you on a journey to a very unique corner of the animal kingdom. Get ready to dive into the wonders of one of the most unusual and astonishing creatures Mother Nature has ever gifted us. The Platypus You know those little animals that seem to have sprung from a fantasy movie or sci-fi story? Well, the platypus is definitely one of them. Even if you think you've seen some pretty odd animals before, I guarantee nothing will prepare you for the incredible blend that this Aussie maid represents. Join me and I'll share more about him. Let's go! Let's start from the beginning. Imagine for a moment that you're playing a game of creating animals and decide to mix parts from various creatures. You take the flat and broad bill of a duck, the agile and streamlined body of an otter, and the sturdy, flat tail of a beaver. Sounds like a wild college project, doesn't it? But believe it or not, that's the peculiar and unparalleled lid look of the platypus. But it's not just about the looks. The platypus's bill, besides being an excellent tool for digging and foraging on the river, has a surprising capability. It can detect electrical fields produced by the movements of its prey. Yes, the platypus uses this electrosensory ability to find tiny aquatic animals, even dive in complete darkness. Speaking of diving, the platypus's webbed feet are another highlight of its anatomy. They're akin to natural flippers, allowing it to move swiftly and deftly in the water. When diving, its front feet paddle efficiently, while the hind feet and tail assist in steering. Moreover, the platypus has a special membrane covering its eyes and ears to protect them when submerged. So, when you see a platypus swimming, you can bet it's in its element and feeling right at home. Here's a wild fact for you. Male platypuses have venomous spurs on their hind legs. Yes, you heard that right, venomous. But before you jump to conclusions, it's worth noting that the platypus isn't the type to go around attacking left and right. In fact, this venom serves a very specific purpose. Primarily, they use these spurs during mating season, when males might get into skirmishes with each other. Territorial disputes or competition for a mate are the main reasons they deploy this defensive mechanism. While the venom can be quite painful for humans, it's rarely lethal, but it's potent enough to deter a rival or any potential threat. So, even with this unexpected feature, it's good to remember that the platypus is, at its core, a peaceful, rather elusive creature. They prefer to keep their distance and live quietly in their natural habitats, steering clear of conflicts whenever they can. The platypus has quite the eclectic taste when it comes to its diet. With a penchant for aquatic delights, this unique creature is an expert at diving deep into the water in search of its meals. From small insects that lurk beneath the water's surface to juicy worms that wriggle in the mud. The platypus is all about that freshwater buffet, and that's not all. They're also known to indulge in crustaceans like freshwater shrimps and even the occasional small fish. Now, here's a nifty trick up their sleeve. Or should I say, under their bill. <laughs> Once the platypus manages to snatch its prey, it doesn't gobble it up immediately. Instead, it stores the food in special cheek pouches, somewhat like a hamster. This allows the platypus to continue foraging for more food, optimizing its hunting trips. Only when it resurfaces and finds a safe spot does it settle down to relish its accumulated treats? Quite the efficient and clever forager, wouldn't you say? When you think of mammals, what's the first thing that comes to mind concerning reproduction? Most would think of live births, babies nursing from their mothers. But the platypus, ever the exception in the animal kingdom, offers a delightful twist to the tale. Instead of giving birth like other mammals, the platypus lay eggs. 
This is an astonishing trait shared only with a few mammals. Picture this, a cozy burrow, slightly above water level, where the mother carefully incubates her eggs by curling her body around them. After about 10 days, these eggs hatch, revealing tiny, vulnerable offspring. But the surprises don't stop there. As these babies grow, they need nourishment, specifically milk. In most mammals, this would mean nursing from nipples. Yet, the platypus mother doesn't have any. <laughs> Seriously, no nipples. Instead, her skin secrets milk in a unique way. It oozes out onto the surface of her abdomen and the hungry little platypus babies lap it directly from her skin. If you're walking around the diverse terrains of the United States or many other parts of the world, hoping to catch a glimpse of the enigmatic platypus, you're unfortunately in the wrong place. These creatures are uniquely Australian, a true emblem of the continent's rich biodiversity. The platypus doesn't just settle anywhere in Australia, though. It has quite the preference when it comes to its living quarters. Favoring freshwater environments, these semi-aquatic mammals can most commonly be found splashing and diving in rivers, serene lakes, and babbling streams. But the platypus doesn't only rely on these waters for sustenance and leisure. It also crafts intricate burrows close to the water's edge. These burrows are their safe havens, sheltering them from potential predators and providing a cozy space to rest. Moreover, these burrows play a significant role in their reproductive cycle, offering a protected space for their eggs and young ones. The platypus is one of those astonishing creatures that truly makes you stop and think. Nature surely has an incredible imagination. It's a bizarre yet brilliant combination, showcasing the delightful unpredictability and boundless creativity of our planet. Every aspect of its being, from its bill to its tail, seems to defy conventional wisdom, making it a testament to nature's knack for out-of-the-box thinking.